Hey guys, Sam here from Core Electronics and today we're going to be taking a look at Arduino versus Raspberry Pi. It's a question I've gotten heaps and so I thought I'd do a bit of a write up in a video explaining what the key differences are between two of the most popular DIY and maker platforms available. Now if you haven't checked it out already, I recommend going and uh, taking a look at some of the content on the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. They'll cover you know, the features and the specs a bit more in depth, but today we're just going to look at the key differences and look at a bit of a comparison and decide, you know, which one's going to be better for your project or, you know, is going to, you're going to enjoy more and be able to, you know, really sink your teeth in and get that great project out there. So the Raspberry Pi um, is uh, pretty much a standalone computer in the form of a credit card. You've got a system on chip here which has you know, your CPU, GPU, um, you've got your memory on the underside, gig of memory. It's running at 1.2 gigahertz. Now if you compare that, I've got an Arduino Uno here. Now there's plenty of other uh, Arduino boards out there, um, but we're using the, the Arduino Uno because it's the most popular one. It's clocked at either eight or 16 megahertz. And when you compare that megahertz to you know, 1.2 gigahertz, you, know, you might wonder why anyone would want to use an Arduino, but it's not as, you know, as clear cut as that. Pretty much the main difference, what it boils down to is a microprocessor versus a microcontroller. Now, the Raspberry Pi is a computer, so you're, you're running an operating system on the SD card. So, you know, there's so many different layers of software. It has to boot up, has to, um, you know, run software to have that pretty desktop and uh, graphic user interface that you're used to. Um, you've got all these applications and programs that are taking up huge amounts of space and resources on it just so you can run those and, you know, have built-in HDMI support and all the rest. So that comes at a cost of power, which is why uh, it, like modern computers, have so much processing power. Now, the Arduino has a microcontroller, which is what you call more of a bare metal approach. So, um, you know, it's not a self-contained computer. If you want audio or video, you have to have extra circuitry to enable it and work with communication buses um, and things like that. You've only got a USB port, which is for serial communication to the computer. And you need a computer to upload code onto your Arduino. You can't, um, you know, write your own code in it, um, like you can with the Raspberry Pi. So things are, you know, tilting a bit in the Raspberry Pi this way. But to understand it, we need to get a little bit deeper. So with the Raspberry Pi, if I want to uh, say, you know, use the GPIO pins, I want to turn an LED on or off. I can't just program the chip just to do that because otherwise nothing will happen. I have to have an operating system on there which boots up loads all these different layers of software, then I have to open another application, write the code in that, which tells all these different software layers. So it goes from here, I've got my code, filters through, filters through, until it gets to you know, the direct access of the pins on the, uh, on the processor, and I can then you know, access those. And that takes time, even though you, know, you can't really recognize the time. Um, you know, it takes processing power. Whereas with the Arduino, I'm writing a set of instructions which get converted into ones and zeros onto the chip where I'm controlling every function and every feature directly. If I tell this pin to uh, output a high signal, it's going to output a high signal exactly as I tell it in that code. It does nothing more, nothing less. So there's some of the key differences. There's a, there's a bit of a table um, and a, a graph down here about the differences you know, between a microprocessor and a microcontroller which is you know, a bit of a sort of quick reference guide. But so if your project, um, you know, I think it boils down to what kind of project you wanna do. My takeaway is uh, if you want to get into software, you wanna learn about Linux and you know, uh, coding and web interaction and things like that, then the Raspberry Pi is gonna be your go-to. It supports heaps of different programming languages, um, you can customize it as a computer to suit whatever needs you want. You can browse the web, you can text edit, all that kind of stuff, um, which is awesome. But if your project is hardware driven, so you're using a lot of sensors and interacting with the real world at a, a really low level with hardware, um, the Arduino is, or a similar platform is going to be your go-to because you can control all these pins directly. You don't have all these overheads. If you want to uh, you know, use a pin, you can use the pin directly through the registers on this chip as easy as you know, a single line of code. You can upload that and away you go. So it's something to think about. Um, you know, they're definitely different beasts, they're different platforms altogether, and it's not a case of one being better than the other. Yeah, you know, if you just compare the specs on, on paper, you're gonna go, well, you know, there's no comparison really. They're com 
you know, why would you even look at the Arduino? But you actually have to get down to what you're using it for and what's going on, because all these, you know, all these peripherals, the Ethernet, the USB, the HDMI, they all take up power, and that's where most of the power of a Raspberry Pi, um, you know, is, is bundled up. Uh, whereas the Arduino is a much simpler device, but much more, um, you know, kind of powerful if used in the right way. So I hope this gave you a bit of an idea of the differences and what, uh, you know, a few things you should consider uh, when building your project. I've got the Arduino Uno here, but there's so many different uh, Arduino boards. Um, some are smaller, some are bigger than the Uno, some more powerful, some less powerful, some have different uh, features like Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Um, but the Uno is a pretty standard, um, you know, kind of board and they're all gonna work in the same, the same way. So hopefully, yeah, you've got a bit more of an idea of the differences. Um, you know, some contrasts and comparisons between them. So go ahead, get started with your project, pick a great platform. You won't be let down by either one of them. They're fantastic and it really is up to you. So hopefully I'll see you next time guys. Enjoy your projects. Thanks for watching.